Hello everybody, you have tuned in to Eric Jose on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover virtually any aspect of making a murderer. I go over the evidence, the documents, the photos. So if you'd like, stay tuned and in the future I'll have many more videos besides the one you're about to see. This is a video made by Zellner today. Quite interesting one. You notice right now what they're doing is taking blood flakes off of a sink because that's Zellner's theory that her and Steven's theory that the blood was taken from his bathroom sink to plant in the RAV4. So you see here they're showing the couple different ways of it being collected. Which mean, which kind of suggests it was being collected kind of desperately. But obviously on a Q-tip, obviously some flakes off of the rim there were in, into an envelope. And then a little bit into a baster-like device type of thing. Um, that was able, like an eyedropper or whatever basically. And okay, so here they are with, you know, showing that, okay, and then take the Q-tip, boom, you put a little bit of blood there. That explains the, the squiggle by the ignition, you know, which, which most people believe was done by a Q-tip because it looks so obviously done that way. The other thing that they're showing here is that the prosecution claimed that blood was flaked up on the, like, fabric and carpets of the RAV4, but the fact is the blood doesn't flake up. It beads up, number one, and beads up. And when it beads up, so I get the when it dries, it's going to be a bead, if, if anything. But what it, what it really shows is that it actually ends up soaking into the fabric or carpet and not flaking up. So that's another reason why it being collected from Steven's sink could be an explanation as to why there are flakes found uh, when there really shouldn't have been any flakes found get the from an active bleeder which is what the prosecution claims, that Stephen was actively bleeding. So here they're showing how using just a plain ordinary paper envelope that you could plant blood flakes. And, and, and that's how they could have, that's m kind of a better explanation of how you got blood flakes than, than from an active bleeder. So now they're gonna go on to, to show basically what the actual amount of blood that's in that RAV4 when you look at the pictures and you look at the the photos the evidence photos and stuff so they're they're going ahead and doing the couple drops by the drivers a couple drops by the passenger and a couple drops by you know on the case the cd case thing right and then just the all the places where there was a couple drops and literally that one little whatever that is little eyedropper dealy covers it all of it, showing how much, how, what a tiny amount of blood it really took to plant blood in that RAV4. That it wasn't some huge amount. Now, this is to illustrate how much blood the prosecution is is saying was in the RAV, which it seems a bit over overkill there because there's not nearly that many drops to be found in the RAV, not according to the pictures that they took anyway. So, it's very, very interesting, this video, and I'm uh, very glad that Zellner put it out. Because, to be honest, you know, it is weird that they found blood flakes. And, and that they thought finding blood flakes was no problem. I mean, that that was just get the kind of cool or normal. So, anyway. So, to me, the, the fact that there's flakes, and then there's the smear on the CD case and the, by the ignition or whatever, and then there's some drops like an active bleeder was bleeding there. I mean, it's like all different things. And the fact that it's it's not, I mean, the fact that it doesn't all look like drops of blood or some such thing like that, that it all is different, that there's, that there's some flakes here and some drops here and a smear here. And I don't know, it's just, see, the, the whole thing is that the blood looks so different in the places that it's found. When you, when you think about that bathroom sink, and you think about them finding flakes of blood, you know, that really kind of sends up a red flag to my mind. Um, so this video I thought was interesting. Also the fact that the, the blood doesn't flake up on the carpet. It doesn't flake up on the fabric. It soaks in. Um, so it would be imp really impossible for it to flake up. You know, the, what would explain flaking is that if it dried somewhere on a smooth surface and was and it was like scooped off or scraped off, and dumped there that would that that would explain why you would see flaking in my opinion 
So I know I got some fans out there that are real sciencey types. So I'm sure that they'll jump in and let me know. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop here today. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe.